construction of a system using its board plot. So let's take a problem. So our problem is to determine the open loop transfer function from the board plot of the system and it is shown us in the figure. So let's solve this problem. First, we will calculate the magnitude at this point x. So our first consideration will be calculation of magnitude. point x so at this point x the magnitude is given by the formula or the change in the magnitude is given by slope into number of decades between two frequencies Now here the slope is minus 20 dB per decade and the number of decades between the two frequency is log to the base log 2.1 2.5 because here the frequency is 2.5 and here the frequency is 1. So log 2.5 minus log 1. So slope is minus 20 into number of decades is log 2.5 minus log 1. Now log 1 is 0, so we will have the magnitude at point x as 20 log 2.5. So we will have minus 7.95. Okay. Now if you see in the board plot that what we have calculated here is the change in the magnitude because change is what this minus 20 is due to because it is in the lower side here we have negative sign here this is one or upper side we have positive magnitude and in the lower side we have the negative magnitude so we have taken here minus 20 into log 2.5 minus log 1 so this was our change in magnitude. Now here we have the point minus 12. So this magnitude at this point x point is minus 12 plus this 7.95 dBs. Okay. Because this is what minus 7.95 at this point then minus 7.95 and minus 12. So it will give the magnitude at this was magnitude at point x and if we equate this it is 4.05 db so it will give us this point where it is starting from the starting of the board plot or we can say the uh, gain or the constant term so the constant term k will be 20 log k will be equals to this minus 4.05 so k will be equals to 0 0.63. So this magnitude was the change in the magnitude at point this. Because here we are having the magnitude in the negative side. 
okay this is the negative axis that's why we have taken here minus 20 into log 2.5 minus log 1 so we have calculated the constant term here now second is that we have the first line is starting from omega equals to 1 and having slope minus 20 dB per decade. So slope is minus 20 dB per decade starting from minus 4.05 dBs and at omega equals to 1. So this will be an integral factor k by s. k is what 0 0.63 and here we have s. Because it is passing through this frequency omega equals to 1 it means that it is an integral factor. And minus means that it is present in the denominator part. 20 means that due to this integral factor we have the slope as 20 dBs. Okay, so our second term is a integral, second factor is an integral factor. Now, corner frequencies are 2.5, 10 and 25. Corner frequencies are the frequencies at which the slope of the uh, of this board plot is changing. So, here slope is changing at 2.5, 10 and 25. So, we have corner frequencies as Two point five, ten, and twenty-five. So we have our third factor. First, due to this two point five, so omega is equals to two point five. Omega equals to one by t, one upon two point five. Sorry, this is t. So t is what one upon two point five. Now we have uh, the slope change is what minus 20 and then it has become 0 dBs. It means that the change in slope is plus 20 dBs per decade. So slope is plus 20 dBs per decade. So that minus 20 and plus 20 it has become resultant magnitude has become 0 dBs. So slope is plus 20 plus means that it is present in the numerator part. 20 means that it is a first order factor. So this will become 1 plus st is the first order factor form. So we will write here 1 plus s upon 2.5. Okay. Or we can say it is 1 plus 0.4 s. Okay. Now we have due to this 10 so omega equals to 10 t will be equals to 1 by 10 and the slope is earlier the slope was 0 dbs now it has become plus 20 dbs per decade so the slope changes plus 20 so this is again plus 20 dbs per decade so slope changes plus 20 plus means again it is present in numerator and it is a first order factor. So represented in 1 plus st form we have 1 plus s by 10. Okay. So this is our next factor. Now using this frequency 25. Okay. So we have at omega equals to 25 we have a uh, the time constant as 1 by 25 or we can say it is 0 0.04 and uh, slope change here the slope was plus 20 now it has become 0 dBs so the slope changes minus 20 dBs per decade so slope is minus 20 so that plus 20 and minus 20 it will become resultant will be 0 dBs so it will be minus 20 dB per decade now minus means that it is present in the denominator and 20 means it is a first order factor so represent it in the form 1 upon 1 plus st 
So it will be 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.04 S. Okay, so this is our next factor. Now combine all the factors which we have obtained and then uh, we can get the resultant open loop transfer function. So the open loop transfer function is GSHS. We have the constant term K as 0 0.63. Then we have the integral term and the first order factors in the numerator as 1 plus 0 0.4 S and 1 plus 0.1 S. Integral factor in the denominator 0 0.63 upon S. Then denominator we have 1 plus 0 0.04 is. So this is our complete open loop transfer function. So in this way we can obtain the transfer function, the open loop transfer function using the board plot. So I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.